Tonight, the Utah Attorney General's office is responding to a lawsuit against Tim Ballard as a second lawsuit is filed against the former CEO of anti-human trafficking organization Operation Underground Railroad. New Specialist Lauren Steinbrecher dug into today's civil suit and the AG office's statement. Lauren, what would you find? Yeah, Mike and Deanie, that second suit contains new allegations against Ballard, as well as similar complaints to what we saw in the first lawsuit. Meanwhile, Attorney General Sean Reyes saying he didn't know about any of the alleged sexual conduct. The 62-page document starts off making similar sexual assault and battery claims against Tim Ballard as the first lawsuit filed by five women earlier this week that allegedly took place in the U.S. and internationally on operations. But in this case, the plaintiffs, including the first male plaintiff to file suit, identify themselves as a husband and wife who allege that Ballard caused their marriage to fall apart and left them in financial ruin. They're having to deal with a lot of very painful trauma emotional and psychological of uh, what they were put through. The wife, who says she was an employee of OUR and more recently Ballard's new organization, Spear, quote, has not been paid since joining Ballard at Spear, nor has she been fully reimbursed for the thousands of dollars she has put on her personal credit cards to fund Ballard's travels. Her husband saying that, quote, she was forced to finance Tim's brand by paying for all the travel, hotels, restaurants, etc. during his Sound of Freedom tour. Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes, who is known to have gone on at least one OUR operation, issued a lengthy statement this afternoon in response to the first suit's sexual assault claim, saying he never had any direct or indirect knowledge of the sexual actions alleged in the complaint. The attorneys for what is now seven plaintiffs between two lawsuits say it's likely they'll file more civil suits against Ballard, that this is just the beginning. We don't even know the breadth of it, to be honest. We have received a lot of information and evidence over the last few days, and so we are still gathering that and evaluating it. The attorneys in the case say the plaintiffs are staying anonymous for now, but plan to come forward and testify. The AG's office says it cannot recall a single request for an investigation or consumer complaint, despite the first lawsuit alleging complaints were made to the office. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News. Lauren, thank you. Today, the Spear Fund issuing a different statement signed by Tim and Catherine Ballard, apparently referencing the original lawsuit. It says in part here, we regret that the five women who have come forward, though still without names and faces, are caught up in this difficult struggle we face together. Without directly addressing the allegations, the statement references unintended consequences related to the work of fighting human trafficking.